welcome to Sunday School. I'm so glad that you could join us today on our third Sunday in Advent. Can you believe it's already the third week? It is almost Christmas time, but we're still in Advent and preparing. Now, if you're at home and you have an Advent wreath, which is that circle that has the four candles sticking up, this is the week that you light the third one. That's the pink candle, and that one stands for joy. And today, I can't think of a more joyful thing to do when I'm getting ready for Christmas than making Christmas cookies. It's my favorite. So today in cooking class, what we're going to do is make a cookie jar. So we're gonna put all the ingredients to make cookies, put them in a jar that we can give as a gift to somebody else. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do to do this activity is a quart size mason jar with a lid. And then you also need the goodies for baking. So flour, sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, salt, and then my favorite, the candy. But we'll get to that part at the end. So the first thing you're gonna want is the flour. And we are going to take a cup and a half of flour and put it into our mason jar. So this is my half a cup. If I need a cup and a half, that's also the same as three half cups. So we're gonna get that into our jar. That's one. Okay. And two. And the last one. And you know, what I forgot to say out loud, guys, I already washed my hands. But if you haven't, make sure you wash your hands before you dig into this one, okay? All right, so there's a cup and a half of flour, and we're gonna kind of make that nice and level in our jar, because the goal is this will make some really pretty layers when we're all done. Okay, flour done. The next thing we're gonna put in is three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. So I have my baking soda, I have my teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon, Now, my recipe calls for half a teaspoon of salt. Personally, I don't like a lot of salt in my cookies. If you do, go for it. If you don't, I usually just get like a little sprinkle and that's plenty for me. Okay, next up, half a cup of brown sugar. So, here's my half a cup. Now brown sugar is a little sticky. It doesn't tend to sprinkle quite as nicely as the flour. So I'm gonna use my hands to kind of break this up a little bit. And what I like is it's gonna make a really pretty little layer in our jar. Make it look all nice and pretty. See, I'm breaking it up a little because mine gets stiff. There we go. Level that off a little. Ooh, that's looking so nice. Okay, next up, five tablespoons of white sugar. I have the world's biggest bag of sugar because we use it a lot at Christmas time. Okay, one, two, and again, you kind of want to circle it around to make a pretty layer. It's like making sand art. In it. Three, four, and last one, five. There we go. And now for the best part. I add about a half a cup of chocolate chips. So again, here's my half cup. And you know, if your parents say it's okay, you should try some just to make sure that they taste good. You gotta make sure the chocolate chips are just right before you give them to your friends. We'll put the chocolate chips in the jar. And then, M&Ms. Delicious! And I put in about three quarters of a cup, or really just to the top of the jar. Now, if you wanna get super fancy, like I did, 
I got the mint flavored ones because I really like mint and chocolate put together. If you like just plain chocolate, you can get just plain chocolate. I'm take my m ms I'm gonna put those in the jar. Up to the top. Mmm, and it smells so good. It smells like mint and chocolate and all kinds of delicious things. And you know, when I think about Christmas and what is to come, if you remember, the three wise men came to the stable when Jesus was born and they brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And frankincense and myrrh are very fragrant. So when I'm baking, I think about that. I think about the wise men and the gifts that they brought. And I think about giving gifts to other people. And here we have a beautiful cookie jar. And so then what I do to finish it off is I made a little gift tag that I can put with my jar. And in my tag, I listed the things that you need to add to this to make your cookies. You'll wanna add a half a cup of butter, one egg, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And then you can bake them for eight to 10 minutes and you're done, you have cookies. And I like things very simple. So what I'll do is I will take my little gift tag and I'll take a piece of string and I'll take the string and I'll wrap it around the jar and wrap it around the gift tag and tie a bow. And then we have a gift that we can give to somebody to share the joy of Christmas. And again, when I think about everything Pastor David told us last week, we're thinking about Advent. This is a very active time. There's so much preparing to do, right? And the reason we do all of it is to get ready for Christmas so that we can be closer to the divine, closer to Jesus. And so when I think about what I value, in my family, we value kindness and we value generosity. And I can't think of a kinder or more generous thing to do than to share food with people that we love. And so I hope that as you make your cookie jars, you can take them, give them to somebody that you care about and tell them, tell them the story about Jesus' birthday, tell them about Christmas and enjoy this time together. Now we're gonna close with a prayer. If you would please fold your hands and pray with me. Dear Jesus, we are so excited about your coming. We feel joy because you bring joy. Help us to share that joy with other people this Advent season. Amen. Thank you for coming to Sunday School. We'll see you next week.